Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. You guys all look great, especially you Shannon over there. And me and my dad almost crashed an airplane together. Now let me explain this story. We were flying, my dad is a private pilot, and we were flying over Bakersfield, California, and the engine quit. And it was very scary, I, was, I mean, I was scared. But my dad is very knowledgeable and did his homework in, school, in flight school and knew what makes airplanes fly and was able to get us to the ground safely. Now, I am no expert in flying at all. I am a private pilot student currently, but I'm no expert, but I've done my research. Now, first I'm gonna talk about what makes airplanes fly and the laws of flight. Then I'm gonna explain what an airplane needs in order to be able to fly. And then lastly, I'm gonna talk about what me and you need in order to be able to fly. Now, what makes airplanes fly? You can find this on anywhere on the internet, but I found it on the FAA.org um, website, and this explains that there are four laws of flight. There is lift, drag, thrust, and weight. Now, thrust is what moves an airplane along the ground, and lift is the air going over the wings causes an airplane to move with the thrust. Weight of the airplane is just the weight that is pulling the airplane down with gravity. And drag is the air pushing against the aircraft. And these are all Newton's laws of flight. Now the airplane uses three basic things that make it move around in the sky. The elevators, which are located on the tail of the aircraft, which make the airplane, this is the nose of the airplane, which make the airplane move up and down. And then the ailerons, which are located on usually the, the ends of the wings, which make an airplane move left and right. Now, I just dropped my paper, sorry. Now, there's the last one is the rudder, which kind of moves like a fishtail on the back of the airplane. Now, the, all these movements are used simultaneously while flying to make an airplane move fluently through the air in all different types of ways. Now, what does an airplane need in order to be able to fly? So there are requirements from the FAA, which is the Federal Aviation Administration, that have to be on board of the airplane at all times in order to, to be in the sky. And that is an airworthiness certificate, which basically just means that the airplane is able to fly. Um, an airplane has to have radios for communication, has to have a current maintenance check, and has to have current registration and a tail number, which is basically like, um, if you guys have ever looked at airplanes and you see numbers down the sides of the airplane, that is the identification of that airplane. And that's what people used in order to communicate with other aircrafts and towers. And that's basically your, your name in the sky. And these are all requirements from the Federal Aviation Administration. Now, what do we need in order to be able to fly? So, according to the FAA, we have to be 16 years old to solo, okay? Now, when you solo, that does not mean you're a pilot. Yes, you have flown by yourself, and yes, you may feel in your heart that you're a pilot, but you are not a pilot yet. You have to be 17 in order to take your flight test, which is the big main test at the end, right? You have to be 17 in order to take that. You have to speak English, and you have to be able to do simple math in order to calculate fuel and stuff like that. And also according to the FAA and Epic Flight School Academy, it takes usually four weeks of ground school, which is no flying, just on the ground, hitting the books. And then you have to have a third class medical, okay? And this is all to become a VFR private pilot. Now VFR means visual pilot not IFR. IFR, this may be confusing, I apologize. IFR is instrument flying, VFR is visual flying. So once you have completed your flight school and an instructor has written you off, you're able to solo. And then you continue more of your flight, flight school and then your instructor signs you off again and you are able to go and attempt the um, test with the flight with an FAA instructor and once you have done that if you pass that 
and that's great and you're able to fly the skies and and fly anywhere in the United States of America. This is not mean that you can fly in other places. Now, let me recap. So first I told you about what an airplane, what makes an airplane fly through the sky, right? Which were, let's recap, the four forces of flight, which were lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Then I told you guys about what an airplane needs, which is the registration, the airworthiness certificate, maintenance, radios, stuff like that, right? And then I told you guys, in order to become a private pilot, a VFR private pilot, he must go through flight school and pass the written test on the ground and the flight test with an instructor. Now that you guys know a little bit more about flying, I hope that you guys can get into it. It's amazing, it's an amazing feeling and I love it so much and hope we can roll the skies together. Thank you guys.